Welcome back to our tech. In today's video, we're going to test this insanely powerful madness of bright LED light for your car. These are the Autobahn 20,000 lumen LED bulbs. So we're going to see how it compares with an older version of a LED bulb, which is about 16,000 lumen. And we're also going to see how good these are in a H4 socket as well as a H7. So stay tuned and hit the subscribe button. Welcome back. So I got this ordered online and I got two boxes here. One has the H7 and the other one has the H4. Both these are LED bulbs for your car and these are rated at 20,000 lumen. So uh, the sockets are different. The H4 is obviously gonna have two filaments because of the high and low beam. The H7 of course is just one single LED filament because there's no high and low in it. So let's check out the packaging. So this comes in a nice blue box and this actually looks nice. This blue Audi over here really has this nice look to it. And the bulb has this red accents to it and makes it look really professional. So this is about 6,500 Kelvin color temperature. So not blue and not uh, yellow. So it's just about white. So they're IP rated, so they can be immersed in water. Nothing should happen to it consumes about 55 watts totally. And these are called the F series. So let's get these out, both of them. So spec wise, they look similar. They have uh, aluminum heat sinks and uh, red copper tubing. And they're about 20,000 lumen per set. So the boxes are identical. Probably inside we'll have a different story. So let's open this up. So you have a user manual right up as any other LED bulb set gives you. It looks pretty decent. And there are some clear instructions. So there are some differences in the way this will mount because they have a adjustable ring. We'll see that a bit later. So this one's the H4. As you can see, there are two filaments. And it's solid. You know, this thing is huge. This power driver looks really big. So they have this removable uh, option here. So you can actually knock this off. And of course the cables are braided, which is nice to see. The H4 socket there. And these are the bulbs. I really like the quality of this. The paint is exquisite. Doesn't look like it's cheaply painted. And there's the fan at the back. I'm thinking it'll do about 12,000 RPM. I'm not sure, but yeah. So tested they say, and this is one solid piece of aluminum. And this is what I was talking about. It's got this adjustable ring so that you can adjust the beam in case you're having difficulty. And this has got a pretty heavy driver. So I'm thinking genuinely this should be about 20,000 lumen. But let's test that later. I'm going to open the H7 right now. So these are going to be tested on two different cars. So the H7 is going to go into a projector setup. Whereas the H4 will go into a regular headlight. Non-projector. So a reflector based headlight. And you can see that there's so much of a difference. So it's not just put in one big box and one size fits all. They have two different types of drivers. So the H4 has got a bigger driver because it's got two filaments. I guess it can power both of them together. Whereas the H7 just got one. And that's the plug for it. And of course, the H7 is slightly cheaper than the H4. But both have the same fan size. Let me know what you guys think about the design and the coloring of this. I really like the finish on this heatsink. And this one doesn't have a removable driver, whereas the H4 does. So side by side, the H4 on the left and the H7 on the right. So you can see it's missing one top portion of the LED. So it's just got one beam. And the H4 is much bigger. Fans are the same in the back. Mm -hmm. 
So I had a couple of LED reviewed in the past and I, I think out of all of those, these really look premium. I mean, I have these Chinese brands which I've reviewed in the past, uh, but now it's good to see some Indian companies actually stepping up and offering these. And they don't look cheap at all. I mean, this is really nice quality. They're so heavy and they feel solid. And I think I would really not hesitate looking at these, you know, in terms of quality and build. So let's clear up the mess and have these fixed. So I just want to show you this adjustable uh, ring. So usually what happens is we remove this uh, portion of the bulb and uh, have this installed first inside the socket and this can be adjusted. So some, a lot of us have problems with the beams throwing up shadows. So you can actually uh, rotate the bulb and it's got a click mechanism. It's not just a silicone washer which holds the bulb together. So it has a clicking mechanism. So it does lock into place. So this can be a good and a bad thing simply because if you don't have enough access, turning this will be a big problem. So this is the Tata Nexon. It's the older version and I'm not going to touch the high beam. So this is going to go to the projector. Just want to show you a quick compare between the, the 16,000 lumen bulb here as well as the new set of bulbs. So you can see there's a lot of gap between the filament beads, whereas you have a more closely packed LED on the autobahns. So this cap is metal and uh, we're also going to test this on a H4 based car. So this one's uh, a Suzuki and it's a SX4. So right now it's running stock 100 by 90s. Just want to show you how bright it is already. They're pretty bright for halogens and the color is actually yellow. So you can see that it's it's pretty slow to respond on a high and low beam flicker. So yeah, I'm just doing a quick test ride of how good this is. So with the stock, I mean, this is not a stock. This is with an upgraded halogen bulb. There's a lot of yellow on the light, but uh, it's still pretty powerful. And of course, at 100 watts, the high beam is also pretty decent. Okay, so time to change these bulbs. So we have replaced one of the headlamps and you can take a quick guess which one is which. Yep. So with both of them replaced and I, I can barely see anything because these things are so powerful. And the beauty of this headlamp is that there's no uh, out of focus light. So, I mean, this is running low beams right now and light isn't actually falling on my face or going above a certain level, which is supposed to be. And there's so much of light. And believe it or not, it is extremely powerful and difficult to drive on the opposite direction in case uh, this driver decides to put the high beam on. So yeah, uh, you need to use this very carefully and uh, it can help you drive much better. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, this is really focused. You can see that the beam pattern is maintained even on a non-projector headlamp. And the visibility is amazing. And we haven't done any adjustments to the headlamp. This is straight away replaced. And there's nothing done to the headlamp adjustment. We haven't positioned it. So it's just replacing those halogen bulbs and it's doing very well. I think it's at least throwing about 200 meters. So that's really nice. And the high beams, of course, I mean, there's no mention about it. It's, it's extremely powerful. Yep, these are the 20,000 lumen Autobahn H4 LED lights. Just showing you some more shots to show you how bright this thing is. I'm gonna leave links in the description below in case you wanna pick up these. So they're doing very well in a H4 setup. Now, what about the H7 inside a projector? 
will they perform equally good well to see that i'm right now running a 16000 lumen led light i don't know how whether it's actually 16000 right now it's been a few years i'm using these so this is what i get at the moment which which is pretty good already and i just want to show you the reference so yeah it's it's 16000 is already powerful and i'm going to replace them you'll always see these you know shadow uh, lines on the projector it's because we have a filament and we have this um, whole thing in the middle which kind of blocks out the light in a cylinder so you do get that Replacing these in the dark was a challenge, but I still did it. And yes, uh, putting these clips on inside the projector without removing the headlight unit out in the dark is difficult. So do it carefully or get it done from a professional. I did not use any relays. We did not use relays because these are consuming about 55 watts together, I guess. So they consume less of power. So it shouldn't be a strain on your battery either. And these are the non-adjusted uh, beam right now. So it's extremely bright. It's brighter than my previous light, but I haven't adjusted the beam. I just want to, you know, replace them. And uh, this is how they look from the front. The color is decent. And this is how it looks. And believe it or not, I still haven't adjusted the beam right. So it's just running with the replacement right now. And I like the way it's looking, so it's it's pretty nice. It's got this crystal white light as compared to the previous ones. Sorry about the camera, I just have a very basic camera, so there is a flicker because of the street lamps, but these head lamps are amazing. They're much better than they seem. So this is the Nexon with the projector lamps having the 20,000 lumen bulbs. And again, I get a very focused beam pattern, They're extremely bright, makes it easier to drive in the night, especially on, you know, highways. So inside the city, of course, it's good. I'm just giving you the viewpoint from a driver's perspective. So this is from taken from inside the car. So there's a lot of shake, so pardon me for that. But uh, you do get a pretty fairly decent beam. I know there's a bit of black shadow there, just uh, um, just about the bonnet, but that's because uh, the camera is a little closer to the windscreen. So uh, from the driver's perspective, you don't see that. You just see the beam. So the high beams are running my regular 16,000. So that's pretty bright as well. So yeah. So this is only projector light, which I've replaced and they do a great job of lighting up the road. You get a fair idea of how bright these lights are. And it's safe to say that the beam isn't scattering, so there's no disturbance to the person coming on the opposite side as well. There's the beam again on the wall, and nice pattern, no scattering. And it's also rained, so the road's more difficult to see. But uh, this beam has no pa no problems, you know, uh, I think it's really cool. Let me know what you guys think. When you drive on the highway, you, you notice that um, these beams, since you can actually adjust the projector's uh, throw based on the number of people in the back seat, you can adjust this beam to go a little further than it usually can. And that gives you a better view of the road. And at high speeds, you need a longer beam. And this setup really helps. So that's my recommendation on the Autobahn. They're really nice and they're pretty quiet as well. So uh, they save power and uh, there was no problem with canvas or any other errors which I got. So these are really recommended. And uh, like I mentioned, I've left links in the description below. In case you're interested, you can have a look, you can buy them. And uh, that's my review for the Autobahn 20,000 lumen LED headlamps. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll be making more such videos for you guys. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.